Thrones actor Peter Dinklage has blasted Disney's Snow White reboot as insensitive, saying in his words that it's a backward story about seven dwarves. Yeah, the actor credited the new film for casting a Latina as Snow White, but slammed the production for reinforcing other stereotypes. So is Peter right? Should Disney's new adaptation never hit the screen. Well, here to debate that, TikTok sensation Fats Timbo, who says Disney's reboot is insulting, alongside Paralympian Will Perry, who says uh, Snow White is a much-loved story. It's not offensive. So, good morning to both of you. Um, Fats, I just want to establish first, even the title, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, is no longer considered appropriate, is it? It isn't appropriate at all. The thing about dwarves, the name dwarf, is it's a medical term and it's called a, myth a mythical creature. Mm -hmm. So people don't know how to differentiate either one. As soon as they see a little person, they think we're a mythical creature, we th they think that we don't have a personality. And the thing is, with Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, they're just catering to Snow White. They don't have their own stories. And it's a bit weird, Seven Dwarves living in a cave, <laughs> but personally. That's um, what... And that's what Peter English says is backwards about it. Will, I wonder whether... Um, if it was a reboot and it called it... Because I know little people is the phrase that is preferred now. So if it was called Snow White and the little people and the, it, it was, you know, taken seriously, each of these individual characters had their own personality and weren't treated as comic creations, whether that might be a good thing? Of course, you know, we're all about positive role models, positive images, and as much as... You know, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is a loved and very well-known fairy tale. It can lead to obviously misconceptions mm. of people uh, with dwarfs and, or little people. Um, you, you've got all sorts of companies and brands changing their image at the moment, changing their name. So, for instance, um, uh, M&S re recently rebranding their suites mm -hmm. to become more appropriate. And I obviously, think because the name Midget Gems was offensive and cancelled. Midget is incredibly offensive. Mm. It's the N word for people with dwarfism. It's really bad. Yeah. Um, so, having uh, it, even though it doesn't sound as mythical, you know, yeah. Snow White and the Seven Little People, it pr it produces a more realistic r image mm. of people with dwarfism to the kids who read and mm. watch and love. Mm. The fairy tale that is, but, the, um, but the, Snow White. you're right. But that's the point, isn't it? You know, uh, dwarfism or you know, little people should not be subject to mythism. It shouldn't be. That shouldn't be the only time no. that we see it. I mean, what do you think of the general representation of little people on television? Have you have you seen, uh, you know, have you, are you seeing enough positive representation? Um, I think will. Unfortunately, the only positive image I'm seeing with people with dwarfism is this new film that Peter Dinklage is starring in, Serrano, right. where he put, he's. Uh, you know, the star, he's playing a normal character. But for me, unfortunately, we're too, either too mythical or presented in a comical fashion. Yeah. Right. For instance, you know, Wolf of Wall Street, where we use as darts, mm. where we use as projectiles. Mm. You know, we're not even portrayed as living things, we're yeah. projectiles. Uh, and then you've got, you know, Oompa Loompas in um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We're only really presented to the public um, and society as, as comical characters. Almost, yeah. yeah as, uh, and, and, in fact, and how do you see that sort of translated into real life? You're going about... You, you work as a performer yourself. Do you, do you feel that people look at you in a different way because of the, the sort of misconceptions or the pre preconceptions that they have from, from representation on, on television and film? Definitely. Ever since I was growing up, people used to always say, oh, you're one of the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, or no. you're an Oompa Loompa, or, mm. you know, some people will try and pick me up because they think I'm an object to, to throw about because of things they've seen in the media. Yes. I've had but, very similar. Yeah, definitely. And a lot of little people have had similar things. That's, that's, that's a, an offensive form of objectification, isn't it? Definitely. And dehumanising, actually. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I think it's so important to have more positive representation mm. for little people. That's why I go on social media and do the dancing and make people laugh, do comedy, mm. because I want to show that little people are more than just these mythical creatures that they see mm. on the media. Yeah. Well, Disney says it it is consulting with members of the dwarfism community, in their words, on...
on the new live action film following the criticism by Peter Dinklage and says it's taking guidance in order to avoid reinforcing stereotypes from the original animated film. So what is this an opportunity or should this just be cancelled and a different film created? So I'm strongly against cancel culture and wokeism. I'm not a member of that community at all. Um, I welcome, you know, Disney's uh, choice to consult people, but why didn't they do that at the start? Because I've read, um, I'm, I love documentaries, I've read all sorts of things when they create different movies, and they've consulted people of different cultures um, and different races, down to the smallest detail, mm. you know, whether it be racing, you know, um, other things, it's... You know, but why didn't they do it at the start? But if they're going to, fantastic. Yeah. I don't think we should cancel a... Um, a fairy tale that's so well loved. Obviously, so many people they don't, you know, they don't love it for, you know, what the dwarfs. They love the story, mm. and you know, innocently as well. Mm. So I don't think it should be cancelled. I think they should. It's brilliant to have a little look mm. and say, okay, let's talk, consult people with dwarfism, get their opinion. We might have to make some tweaks, but I don't think it should be cancelled at all. Even if it's adjusting the name slightly or the way we're presented, we're not in a cave. In, we're in a house. We're not depicted, you know, as mindless stupid characters, we are sentient beings, we have feelings, we have opinions. This could be an opportunity, really, oh, incredible, yeah. exactly. to trans transform perceptions. And it's so interesting that Disney have just released that statement overnight, because Peter Dinklage had said, have I done nothing to advance the cause mm. from my soapbox? Mm. And clearly he has. He has. Mm. Well, fantastic. Thanks. That's and Will, thank you so nice much. Thank you. Just thank you. How's swimming going? Also. Yeah, it's, it, we're all, all, all cylinders firing at the moment. We've got Commonwealth trials and world trials in a month's time in Aberdeen. Fantastic. So after this, um, I'll be going straight back to Northampton to right. continue training. It's well, we look forward to very tiring you. at the moment. Yeah. Uh, back performing, uh, can, uh, on tour anytime soon? Well, hopefully soon. Yeah. Hopefully soon. You'll see me soon, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, we can see you on TikTok. Yeah, you can see me on TikTok, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> exactly. uh, great to see you both. Thank you.